Hi everyone, my name is Arvin Olano and welcome to my YouTube channel. So, nobody asked, but in today's video, we are playing Smash or Grab. Now, I received the CB2 catalog recently and I have to say I am so impressed with their fall collection that I took a deep dive into what they had to offer this season and I've learned that a lot of these pieces are actually designed by different designers from all over the world just for CB2 and that just like got me really excited and I wanted to share some of my favorites and I want you to let me know down in the comments if you would smash it or would you grab it? Okay, so smash it if you don't like it and grab it obviously if you want to grab it. <laughs> this first item was an instant grab for me and it is this Italian burl wood pedestal. Plinths, pedestals, they are the must-have accessory for any chic and stylish home and this one is made of an Italian burlwood veneer. It's real burlwood but very thin and it's covering this kind of like, you know, tall pedestal and burlwood is actually like a deformity that happens in trees and you get this really amazing like naughty look. Ooh, naughty! <laughs> but I love it because it gives so much texture into the space and this kind of warm color just like oh I love those tones and for $399 I mean it's so good there's a smaller version as well for I believe $299 no the smaller version is $349 but these are available to ship so if you're interested of course anything that I'm going to be talking about today will be linked down below in the description box but I want you to sound off is this a smash or a grab for you? This next item is the Wen Rattan lounge chair and it's designed by Mermelada Estudio. It's actually inspired by a vintage flea market find and Mermelada Estudio is a design studio based in Barcelona. It's founded by three friends. There is something exciting about this piece. When I saw it, I was like, this is for sure inspired by a vintage piece. It's rattan mixed with boucle, which I have come to realize that most people on YouTube don't like boucle, which is fine, but I think it's gonna be a classic, okay? Okay to boucle. I feel like when you find something like this from a vintage dealer, it's definitely going to cost you probably over 2000 a chair, and this one is coming in at 1000 a chair and the design is just so beautiful like the open weaving in the back the low profile oh it's available to ship and i'm like tempted to get this for the office because i kind of want to do a little makeover in the office kind of a little spray kind of a not spring a fall refresh but of course i want your opinion would you smash or grab by the way Aren't these branches so good? If you've been wondering, they're actually faux branches. I got them from Amazon. They're so wispy, they come in a pack of two, and just great for any like styling moment. I actually just went live on Amazon recently. I'll link it down below for you, it's pre-recorded. I go in depth about all of my favorite Amazon home finds, including these branches, these curtains I have in my office. So if you're interested in watching that, I will link it down below in the description box. Oh, we are running out of light again, you guys. Oh, no. This next item is the Viper Round Polished Brass Mirror. It's designed by Brett Beldock and I don't know. Something about this feels very cheap. I think it's very hard to um, get polished brass right. I wish this was more of an antique brass and I would have thought it was like really cool, kind of eclectic and in the right space it would be really awesome. But on the website it reads very cheap. So to me, this is definitely a smash. I don't like this at all. And for $499, oh my gosh, no. I just wish it was antique. What about you? Would you smash? Would you grab? By the way, we are focusing on home decor and some accent pieces 
because I feel like those are the best things to buy from CB2. So this next item is the Ava Bust Sculpture. It's coming in at $49.95. It's a really good size, 16 inches in height. It's made of paper mache and something about it just looks like it came straight from like a French gallery. It's actually displayed on top of this pedestal. So for me, this is a definite grab. It's on pre-order right now, but if this is your style, I would definitely get it while it's available to ship like sooner rather than later. And for $49.95, oh my gosh, I feel like that's such a great deal for a beautiful sculptural bust moment. Let's move on to some lighting. And I have to be honest, a lot of the lighting from the fall collection is a hard smash for me. And this one that I'm talking about is actually older. It's the Polar Floor Lamp by Cara Mann. And something about this design, it looks like it's made of plaster. Actually, it's an ivory concrete base, but it's just so like monolithic. And I love that it's all white. If you like a really light and bright airy room. I think you're gonna enjoy this piece. It's 379 and I feel like for a floor lamp, that's such a great price point. It's on back order right now, but again, this is one of those pieces that are gonna be worth the wait. But for you, what do you think? Is this a smash or grab? Okay, this next item is so good and it's the Infinity Floor Mirror. And this mirror is huge. It's 48 by 76. So if you have a big entryway, you like taking outfit photos, this is a nice, simple and streamlined design. It comes in a variety of different finishes, black, brass. It even comes in a wood option and it comes in a smaller 32 by 76. So I feel like there's something for everyone and 599 for the large one and $399 for the skinny one. I feel like these prices are so great if you want or need to make a statement in your entryway. And ah, uh, it's also available to ship, so I will link this down below. It's definitely a grab for me, but what about you? Smash or grab? I kind of like this game. <laughs> this next item surprised me, and it's the Crest Rattan dining table. Now, the idea of this piece is really cool. You know I love a good rattan moment. It's designed by Brett Beldock, and in the photos, it looks beautiful. The color tone is beautiful, but I just can't imagine eating on top of that, like, woven rattan table, because if you spill your sauce, if you spill your food, Cleaning it just sounds like it would be a nightmare. So for me, this piece is a hard smash. Like I would not recommend this to anybody. And usually I recommend rattan to everybody. <laughs> this next item is the also black hand thrown vessel. And it looks to be a very large piece. It's available to ship. I actually love a good floor vessel moment, but Something like this for $200, you can honestly buy something vintage that has a bit more, you know, character, a bit more personality. And yeah, to me, this is a hard smash. I don't like this at all. It looks really cool styled, but again, for 200 bucks, I will link some of my favorite vintage um, floor vessels down below for you because I don't know. Something about this is not is not vibing with me, but I don't know, would you like this? Do you like it? Would you smash or would you grab? I feel like this next item is gonna be a very 50-50 thing and it's the Jack's Red Marble Side Table. I love this so much, you guys. I don't know what it is. I think it's the three legs, it's the spindly legs, and it's made out of a Levanto red marble. If you have a low sofa or a low accent chair, this would look so incredible paired next to that. And it's actually on pre-order right now, but wow, I feel like for a marble piece, $499 is like not a bad price at all. Look at that gold veining. This is one of those pieces where people are definitely gonna be like, where did you get that? So is this a smash for you or is this a grab? This next item is the dune footed sandstone bowl. And I think this is so pretty for a built-in, a shelf, maybe even a kitchen moment. I really love that angular shape. I think it's very chic and sandstone. Ah, oh, it's so pretty in person. This bowl is 129. It's in stock and ready to ship. I just love 
reading those words because let's be real, I hate waiting for things, but is this a smash or a grab for you? This next item is the Elan painting. It's a mixed media piece, very neutral, but I love the kind of moss green with the sagey green. I just love these geometric shapes. I think um, art is very personal and you know, like I'm very impatient. So if you like things that are readily available, this is one that you can buy right now. It's by Patrick Saint-Germain. He's a ventriol, ventriol? <laughs> He's a Montreal-based artist, and this piece is 349 and it's actually kind of a big piece. Yeah, it's 50 by 50. That's such a great price, and for me, this is definitely a grab. This next piece is so, so sexy, and it's the Martos Chocolate FOMO Hair office chair. This is actually designed by Mermelada Studio, which again is a design studio based in Barcelona. It's inspired by bolstered lounge chairs that were popular in the 70s. And this office chair just screams so sexy to me. Like, if I see this in an office of a bachelor, of a really nice and stylish young man, I would automatically think, like, he knows what he's doing. It's $899. Ooh! She's a little bit pricey, but again, this is a good this is a good piece to pre-order. It's just it looks so yummy and comfortable. Um, I wish it came in in different colors. I honestly wish it came in like a white or off-white because I would totally be all over this. Ooh. Ooh. This next item is a mushroom lamp called the Senza glass lamp. It's designed by Studio Anansi. It's a lamp inspired by the 70s. These were really popular during that time and it's so cute, you guys. It's 229. Vintage lamps like these are either by Murano, which is Italian, or they're German. It's probably going to cost you twice as much. So for 229 I feel like this is a great price. It's available in stock and ready to ship, which we all love to hear. And I know this is probably gonna be like a 50-50. It's a really large size, um, so it might be cute as a little table um, lamp, table lamp, no, a little cute um, bedside lamp if you have this kind of retro style. But I wanna hear your thoughts. Is it a smash or a grab? for you. All right, everyone, that was it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and watch my Target shop with me next because there's a lot of those pieces that are also available to shop right now. Sound off in the comments down below and let me know what store I should do next. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.